What's up guys, I'm back again with another upgrade to my Prover 4030XL. This time I added a laser, even though there was no documentation. I emailed them and uh, they told me to uh, get the 5.5 watt one from their website. And it finally came in. So I got it installed, uh, took a little uh, figuring out, but uh, I, as you can see, I got it working. So let's get this thing unboxed. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm getting a little crazy with the uh, video editing, but that's all right. And get this open with my Stanley saw and uh, a little box. Um, got the 5.5 uh, watt. Picked it up for about $160. Uh, I used expedited shipping because after I ordered my 4030, I had like points and i was able to get it so first thing out of the box is the safety glasses trust me you're gonna want to wear these things um there's a little button on the little controller thing <laughs> i pressed it when i was trying to wire it up and that thing is bright it's no joke make sure you wear your ppe anyways uh first thing we got a little electrostatic bag and in here we got the little control board and the laser now if you looked at these things on Amazon or on the website, you will think that these things are way bigger. I was a little shocked. This thing uh, is kind of small compared to the pictures. Uh, kind of misleading there, but uh, I think it packs the right punch. So you got a little fan on top, a little control board. I had to do some research. Uh, because I, I didn't know how to wire this up to my machine. There's not really any documentation. And, you know, on the controller, there's a plug for a laser. There's a switch that you switch for to change it from like the CNC mode to the laser mode. But I didn't know. So, next out of the box, we got the uh, power cord. If you're using the Prover, definitely not necessary. I think this is for if you throw it on like the. 3018 or whatever it is so it comes with like some little cords the prover actually comes with like a very lengthy cord that will go from uh, the control board or the controller um, to the little control board for the uh, thing you just have to put the wires in uh, next up we got the little disc uh, this has some instructions on using Lightburn, which includes Lightburn, but not the most up-to-date one, so you gotta update it. Then it has laser gerbil, the driver, and then like some PDFs with the, uh, what do you call it? Just like instructions on, on how to use it and adjust some settings. Let's see, so this is what can't, comes with the Prover. That's the little thing that plugs into the control box, and then this is the wiring. So as you can see, it's very long. And it actually just plugs right into the little control board. So that kind of worked out easily. Um, I just kind of tried to line up the wires the way that it was coming out of the other side of the adapter. I just kind of matched it up. Um, I used like the keying of the plastic part as my top and then the same with the one that goes into the 4030 uh, controller and it worked out uh, first thing so fortunately offline controller when I hit the uh, P, what is it PWM or whatever didn't turn the laser on but that's okay because uh, I, I plan on using light burn now that I've played around with it I got the little trial it comes with uh, once it expires I plan to to just purchase a license so um, yeah that's it for all that's in the box uh this is the little controller uh, as you can see i put it on the top of my little z axis thing and then there's where i mounted the uh the laser um i used a or an, uh, i used the piece of metal that the uh shoot what are they called? The little limit switches on the Z axis or on the X axis. 
I used that uh, to mount it to. I just drilled out the holes on it a little bigger and then mounted it to the side with the uh, little sh cover screw. So I only got one screw in there, but uh, I just tightened it up and it's not really going anywhere. So worked out good. Um, I gotta fix my little dust collector system for my router so that they can coincide together and not get all messed up. So here's it in action. I was trying out one of those tile art things. I did not let it dry long enough, but uh, it was working. I tested it out. I carved uh, on some wood. Definitely got to learn everything and uh, make it better. But uh, uh, yeah, I'll figure it out sooner or later. Uh, here's another clip that I did. Uh, I'm sorry for the graininess. Uh, I record this on my phone, and uh, it's uh, you have to like export it um, in order for it to process right. Otherwise, here in my video editing app, it makes it look crazy. Just on the yellows. I don't know. Anyways, I just typed in some random letters, and uh, this was kind of like my first test thing, but. Um, yeah, just carved it out. Um, I did have to change the setting because it did not like turn the laser off in between like moving across the letters. It was just uh, some Google searching. I had to type like uh, it was like dollar sign some number or equals thirty or whatever, and wham bam, thank you ma'am, <laughs> it did it. So, but uh, yeah. Uh, if you guys got any questions, let me know. Uh, I'll leave links and everything like that. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.